Magandang maga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, Father. Tayo po ngayon nasa chapel ng Our Lady of the Rosary, Parish of Manawag. Dito po tayo ngayon sa cementerio kung saan ating ipagdiriwang ang Solemnity of All Souls. Alalahanin natin lahat ng ating mga kapatid na pumanaw sa pagdiriwang na ito. Panalangin natin sila. Panalangin din natin lahat ng mga taong patuloy nagdadalamhati sa pagpanaw ng kalang mga mahal sa buhay. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess yes. to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and console us as we renew our faith in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our hope that all our departed brothers and sisters will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction, but they are in peace. For if in the sight of others Indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immorality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through a stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful <coughs> shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pasture, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. 
Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. He guides me in right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. You spray, spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ raised from the dead, May the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him to a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that our sinful body might be done away with, so that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Yet all those whom the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I shall not turn away. For I have come from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And the will of him who sent me is that I lose nothing of what he has given me, but instead that I raise it up on the last day. This is the will of the Father, that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall live eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Hindi po kayang putulin ng kamatayan ng ating ugnayan ng pag-ibig sa isa't isa. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, muli magandang maga po sa inyong lahat. Meron po akong nabasang isang kwento tungkol sa isang ginang na labis nagmamahal sa kanyang mister at nung mamatay ang kanyang asawa, ay pinagawa niya po ng isang mamahaling lapida. At doon sa lapid ang kanyang pinagawa, pinalagyan niya ng magandang lettering, natusan niya yung engraver na ilagay ay rest in peace. Subalit pagkatapos ng ilang araw, natuklasan ng misis ang nilalaman ng last will testament ng kanyang mister. At nakita niya doon sa last will testament na merong pinamanahan yung kanyang mister ng malaking halaga doon sa kanyang kerida. Kaya galit na galit si misis, tinawagan yung engraver 
dun ng lapid at ang sabi niya, burahin mo yan. Burahin mo yung rest in peace na yan. Subalit ang sabi ng engraver ay hindi na po pwedeng mabura sapagkat tapos na at napakamahal pa naman ang iyong pinagagawa. Kung hindi mo na kayang burahin, ganito na lamang ang gawin mo, sabi ng misis. Ilagay mo rest in peace pagkatapos noon, sulatan mo ng wait until we meet again. Ibig sabihin, maghintay ka at magtutuos pa tayo. No? Yan ibig sabihin noon. Ang paniniwala natin at ng iba't ibang relihiyon na ang ang tao pagkatapos ng mamatay haharap sa isang pagtutuos. Merong pagtutuos. Pagkatapos ng kamatayan, merong final judgment. At siyempre po ang ating makakatuos ay wala ng iba kung hindi ang ating Panginoong Diyos. At kapag ka tayo itutuusin, susukatin, titimbangin, hahatulan, hahatulan tayo sa pamagitan ng ating buhay. Paano tayo namuhay sa mundong ito? At maganda rin pong itanong sa ating lahat yan na nandirito tayo ngayon sa loob ng chapel ng cementerio ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at napapaligiran tayo ng puntod ng mga mahal natin sa buhay na tanungin natin ang ating sarili, paano ba mamuhay? Paano ba ang isang magandang buhay sa gitna sa mukha, kaharap natin ang mukha ng kamatayan? Tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, ayos bang aking buhay? Meron pong isang kwento tungkol sa isang ginang uli na napansin niya tuwing sila'y magkakaroon ng reunion ng kanyang mga kabatch taon-taon, pakonti na ng pakonti ang umaaten. Lalo na siguro kung mga senior na po kayo. Kapag ka meron kayong batch reunion, mapansin nyo, nalalagasan taon-taon. Bagamat nalalagasan taon-taon, ang kanyang kasiyahan, nakita naman niya, yung kanyang mga batchmates, eh mauulad naman ang buhay. Maganda naman, successful sa kanya-kanyang larangan. Pero napansin niya bagamat sila ay mayaman, magdaratingan, magagara ang kasuotan, pinagkwekwentuhan lang ka lang magandang bahay, maaring mga anak nila, successful na rin, pero waring merong kalungkutan na mababanaad sa kanilang mga mukha. Merong kulang. Kahit na ikaw ay nagkamit ng material na bagay sa mundong ito, pinuno mo ang buhay mo ng iba't ibang mga material na bagay. Maaring pinuno mo rin ang buhay mo ng kapangyarihan, iba't ibang posisyon sa lipunan. Maaring sikat ka na rin, pero babaagan sa kalang mukha na mukhang meron pa rin kulang. They are filled but not fulfilled. Filled, punong-puno, pero hindi naman fulfilled. At sila napapaisip tuwing sila'y palapit na sa pagtanda at parang tumatawag na ang kamatayan. Ano ang kulang sa ating buhay? Sa bandang huli, na-realize nila, kulang yung malalim na relasyon sa Panginoong Diyos. At marahil ganun din tayo. Habang tayo ay naglalakbay sa mundong ito, pinupuno natin ang ating buhay ng maraming mga bagay. Pero nakakalimutan nating isama sa buhay natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Maaring masabi natin na we are filled but not fulfilled. Ang ating fulfillment, ang kahulugan ng ating buhay, matatagpuan natin sa Panginoong Diyos. At hindi po ba ganun ang ating ginagawang paglalakbay sa buhay na ito? Galing tayong lahat sa Panginoong Diyos, siyang may likha. Sa bandang huli, pabalik din tayo sa Kanya. At yung pagbalik natin sa Kanya ay ating pinananabikan. Sa araw na ito, araw ng mga patay, kapag katiningnan po natin at inalala natin ang ating mga patay, Maring ating ang pumasok sa ating isipan, binabalikan natin ang nakalipas. Hindi po ba? Pagkat mga patay na yon, mga memories ng mga namatay yung ating tinitingnan, ang ating binabalikan. 
Pero at the same time na tinitingnan natin nakalipas ang ating mga panalangin ngayong pangkasalukuyan, silang mga namatay, sanay, lubusan lang makamit yung kalang future at ang future nila ay makapasok sa kaharian ng langit. Ang pagdiriwang po sa araw ng mga patay ay pagdiriwang na kung saan nag-aalay tayo ng mga panalangin upang sa ganoon, yung miyembro ng ating simbahan na tinatawag natin church suffering, mga bahagi ng simbahan natin na hindi pa tuluyang nakakapasok sa langit, church triumphant, yun naman po ang pinagdiwang natin kahapon, November 1. Ngayong November 2, tayo nandirito sa lupa ay tinatawag natin church militant, pangkasalukuyan. Yung mga namatay kahapon, inaasahan natin na bukas ay tuluyan nilang makakapiling ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Ang ating pag-asa ay nakasalalay sa muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Isuk Kristo. Si Jesus din ay namatay pero hindi na natili sa libingan. Siya ay muling nabuhay at tagahanda ng mansyon ng matitirhan para sa ating lahat na nandirito sa lupa. Kaya makikita po natin sa araw na ito ang ating pagdiriwang kasama natin yung mga banal, church triumphant, yung mga lumalasap na ng regalong buhay na walang hanggan ng Panginoong Diyos. Sila'y nagdarasal kasama natin. Pinagdarasal tayo. At tayo naman pinagdarasal natin yung mga kamag-anak natin, mahal natin sa buhay, kakilala natin, kaibigan natin, na nawa, tuluyan na silang makapasok sa karyan ng langit. Ito'y isang simbolo ng pagpapakumbaba sa harapan ng Panginoong Diyos na sinasabi natin na hindi tayo perpekto, na tayo maraming pagkukulang, nakagawa sila ng mga kasalanan, at ang mga kasalanan nito, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo nagbayad sa pumagitan ng pagbubwis niya ng buhay para sa ating lahat. Hari nawa, ang buhay po natin ay mapuspos ng grasya ng Panginoong Diyos. Anong grasya ang nais kong hilingin sa selebrasyon na ito? Yung grasya na kapag ka nakaharap tayo ngayon sa mukha ng kamatayan, yung grasya na babatid natin kung paano gugugulin ang ating panahon, yung grasya na babatid natin na may ang buhay, merong katapusan, dapat yung natitira kong buhay ngayong pangkasalukuyan ay magamit ko pa sa mga bagay na talaga namang higit na mahalaga. Na nawa ang banal na Espiritu ng Panginoong Diyos, puspusin tayo ng liwanag ng isipan at ang ating puso ay maging maligaya. Talam natin, ang ating kaligayahan ay nakabatay sa ating malalim na relasyon at ugnayan sa Panginoon. Ituro nawa sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos ang landas na patuloy nating tatahakin sapagkat pinapaalaala sa atin na nandirito tayo ngayon sa sementeryo na tayo rin ay merong huling hantungan kung ilang araw, linggo, buwan o taon na lamang ating buhay sana ay ating gamitin sa pagmamahal sa kapwa sa paglilingkod sa Panginoong Diyos, sa isang bagay na makabuluhan. Pang sa ganoon, tayo rin balang araw ay makapiling ng mga nauna na sa atin. It sa lahat, tayo rin ay maging banal, katulad ng mga banal na halimbawa ng ating simbahan. We believe in the communion of saints, Confident in that act of faith, let us reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the, the charity of our intercessions. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. 
that the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. That light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and his cleansing forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. That those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Lord of life, we commend into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray with the brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we are united in this sacrament by the love of Jesus Christ. Accept these gifts and receive our brothers and sisters in the glory of your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful, never-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord, in him who rose from the dead and the hope of resurrection dawned. The sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise.
Please kneel. We are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death or resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to Jehovah all that is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis Assistant Bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracefully grant us in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to said to your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, may the death and resurrection of Christ, which we celebrate in this Eucharist, bring the departed faithful to the peace of your eternal home. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. 
At maraming maraming salamat din po sa ating mga katikista, sa ating lectors and commentators, sa lahat na naglingkod upang sa ganoon ay ating mais katuparan na pagmimisa po dito sa Cemetery Chapel ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag Parish kahapon po hanggang sa ngayon. Uh, makakaasa po kayo ng aming patuloy na panalangin para po sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay na namayapa na at uh, panalangin din po natin ang isa't isa na nawa ang biyaya ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay ating makamtan upang sa ganoon tayo mga patuloy na nakikibaka sa mundong ito ay mapagtagumpayan po natin hanggang sa huli maging ang kamatayan at alam po natin na tayo maging matagumpay kung kasama natin sa ating paglalakbay ang ating Panginoong Yesus sa buhay na ito hanggang sa kabila. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. In His great love, the God of all consolation gave man the gift of life. May He bless you with faith in the resurrection of His Son and with the hope of rising to new life. Amen. To us who are alive, may He grant forgiveness and to all who have died, a place of light and peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh.